So middle, it's 9-3 versus 4-1. This is to be expected. Tiny does not really lose the first early waves. Top lane, oh, wow. Arteezy in a lot of trouble. Arteezy's dead. Kuroki was trying oh, to get from a Who needs Morbid Mask on Ursa when you just have a Wraith King? He actually took the second point, or second level in oh, Vampiragora. And IO is just dead. Oh, wow. almost gets away, but almost is not good enough. Kuroki actually just picks yeah, it up. I believe it's a... Mind control, very high level, because GH just was kind of chilling around. Mind control will take a ton of damage. This might be a kill. Oh, he gets the stick up. He needs two more attacks. Out of he salves. Will it be enough? They go. The sentry is still there, but it won't be in time. And instead, GH kills Fly on the backside. And wow, Liquid. Or in trouble, too. Just playing so well. Will that be a double? It will. But I think he might just get run at the oh. sun. That would be even worse. He gets it for EG. They're not feeling him. good. Yeah, oh, no. middle. Sumail's in a little bit trouble. Look who's coming. It's the Forge Spirit from the other side. Body blocks from Kuroki. It's going to be a toss back. Sumail, is he going to live? Oh, he dodges the boulder. There's no way you live there. No, probably not. I don't think Fly would ever get that farm or would his team let him get that farm. Probably not. And now GH, he will get slowed up. Can he roll? It's going to be a nice kick. It hits Big two and now Mind Control is here. It is going to be a freeze. He has to Kuchin too. The Sun Strike will completely miss. Barely, but Fly probably going to die to the bug. He does. And Bounty now Sumail, he needs to kill this. And yeah, you see it. Mind Control. He's going to scoop up a rune top. It looks like it's just going to be rune after rune for Liquid. Well, GH does go down to S4, but Mind Control... Yeah, He's just top. running. Sunstrike's yeah, they're diving. Cool down. They cut the trees with the quelling blade or with the tango, excuse me, from the Wraith King, allowing them to get the wrap around on the Wisp. And even though they don't kill them here, I think overall they're happy with this yeah. trade. They're just trading because their shrine's active. Yep. It's really smart play from Liquid. They just get as much as they can off. Oh, Sunstrike? Oh, it's gonna be there plus Why? the boulder from GH just to help out. Look at this tower. It is getting beaten down by the Siege Creep right now. In comes Kuroki. Do we have anyone from the back lines? We sure can GH get a double stun? No, he's just going to kick Fly back. Get rid of that aura. GH, though, is going to die. And S4 gets the kill. Kuroki gets the kill on the other side. And luckily, you do now, but. Backside flying Kuroki. They're just going to run at each other. Sumail's going to come over and help. GH is here. Sunstrike. Oh. He's going to hit, but Kuroki again will end up getting the kill. It's going to be a toss into the air. He has another stun, but look at it. It's S4 TPing in. This guy's pretty strong. He does have it. The Ghost Walk goes off. Do they have any detection? Doesn't look like and it. The raindrop to save. He's going to go. Can they get Kuroki? They're committing a lot of time to try to get him. They did see him at the last thing, so they're going to continue going. He tosses him on over. S4. Oh, if he gets denied here, he does. <laughs> Dude, Christ. The toss kills the tree to allow the creep in. And <laughs> I really like the build of Miracle as well. Just treads a kill a wand. Gives him the optimum amount of survivability against heavy burst damage uh, matchup. And then he's just going to go for the axe. And he already had the raindrops too. Yeah. So he's he even committed more to just making sure he continues sustaining and remaining above burst level of the tiny. We see Fly wants to maybe make him use his ulti, and he might, but he's going to die for it. And now, what? Oh. He's, okay, he's gonna bottle up while he's All doing the sentry. a lot of damage. There's a sentry. He doesn't get the double star. star the arrow cool. flies out. And yeah. S4, he is getting some kills. He's the only one. There. He is on a killing spree. Oh, they're they're rushing. rushing three kills. They are rushing very early with. And you see Garchisi just pinged it out. He knows these two heroes can certainly do this. Lifesteal aura, as you said, no more mid mask required. Yeah, and well, they're gonna go in. Oh, he has ult with the next overpower. Three seconds. Oh my goodness, they can't. They God, know they Reaper's can commit. You can here. commit. Can you? Yeah. With the old, oh, you know, don't get bashed. Bashed. Oh my God, oh, the bash, He might just get ulti. He's going to get ulti right here by Arteezy. See you later, that Alec. bash, man. He would have actually stolen his entire life, like, health pull back with those Fury Swipes. He had 24 stacks hitting for an extra 500 damage with his ult. Or, sorry, excuse me. Uh, 900 damage with his That's ult. So a it's a lot. Damage. It yes. is a lot, yeah. It just, that's why I was like, you can't commit because you got to assume the worst is going to happen, right? Or no, you just play balls to the wall. He got bashed on first hit from Roche after he ulted. I think that's, that's worst case scenario. So are you saying that it was a misplay or do you think he just got a... Oh, oh my God. Miracle Kobe. God. Miracle God is just playing out of his mind, but middle lane. No, Sumail does a little dance, believes it's rolling. The meteor is going to hit, but he won't run over it. Yet. Meanwhile, can he live? Crit's coming in. Will it be in time? I don't think it will. It won't be. And now, we is it here. Ian? trouble yeah crit's gonna go down as well from a save 
to missing it to a double kill. Miracle takes a lot of damage, but he's juggling the orbs on him. I think he just wants to rotate to top as quickly as possible, but the EG, since they see it, they're not going to... I, oh, I need to be careful. Can he just die right here? He looks like oh, he might that kid, that kid. Wow, yeah, there it is. He's gonna sun stream. He's not dead yet. Gets the nuke off. He's still alive. He's gonna get healed. GH is gonna go down. Fly actually gets the kill. Mind control. He's like, thanks. I get a little more gold, and he's just gonna run away. This is all setting up the mid push, yeah. though. He's and just alacrating the catapult, even though it has no health. Yep. Relocate behind them in the mid lane, and Can the tornado hit? disengages for a while. But that's just a level five. <laughs> Great King. I don't think that's. Yeah. So, he did that on purpose. Kroki gave his life for the yeah. team. Because in the meantime, Urs is just pressuring top all by himself. Is it just because Liquid, I mean, if they commit for a gank, they have to, like, get it, or else they're just wasting a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. Which they have been doing. And I mean, they're playing against three heroes on EG. All three cores, as always, can farm effectively, and they have CM Aura and Wisp. So you're going to get out lane shoved, you're going to get out farmed, but you can have find kills far easier with oh, your two stunning supports. I know he's at the camp. Yeah, hey, Spoon and Dust. They have Dust. So he is King level adult, six though. now. So you want to get the. You definitely want to at least take this down. Looks like they might just give him up. No, they're not. GH is going to roll an Izzy level six. Oh, he yes. sure is. He's going to pop it off. And now they're just going to kill GH instead, though. A lot of damage done, but not terrible. <laughs> Miracle does get the tower, and Mind Control's farming bottom. S4 just going to TP away. Base? It. Oh, he dodged it. But Arteezy gets a kill. My bad for missing that one. Luckily, I'm not the OBS. And Matumba Man, he goes down. And now look at this. IO, they just get the kill. Now Arteezy, this dude is, yep. he's getting a lot of gold. Oh, look at the warding as well. Yeah, they're sitting on top of a ward on the two supports. They're debating smoking, it looked like. Oh, they had it in their inventories. They see another TP. They see this, this entire war. thing. Are they just going to smoke immediately? Oh, they're going to go in God. for the kill. This is going to be an easy one on Kroki. And Fly from the high ground gets a decent amount of damage and slow before he gets stunned by GH. You'd have a tough time making maneuvers around the map. Arteezy, he's a little bit out of position. He has the four step, though. Get it going, Viz. And now they're going to try to turn it. And I think Liquid knows something's up. Yeah. Look how high it hard That's a fail. Oh, it doesn't, isn't quite enough damage, though. No. And the Ursa turns his butt. He has no ability to follow up on this if he gets the Ghost Shroud off. And there's no Reaper. He has a haste with tiny. another advantage of room for Smell. And we're seeing the acceleration slash enabling items on Arteezy going into the Radiance next. Ooh, fly well. He's used to dying that much. But look at Matoma Man jumps behind him almost immediately. No as He's going to try to run away. No more leaps. He does not have any leaps. He might just be dead here. He's trying to scare him. Will Miracle get it? No, Matoma Man will finish him. And that was such a nice play. Is that Roche? It is. Look at that. Immediately. No hesitation. Sumail. He's Sumail. Silence. Oh, wow. Nice silence. It's only on crit. Sumail. Is he actually going to go in? This seems like such a crazy play. Fly on the backside. Doing a ton of damage, but Matoma Man already picks it up. We're going to see the Cyclone come out. Sumail is just going to die right here. He is in no man's land. Fly. He's just dying as well. And it looks like this 4v5 commitment might be a 4 for 0 for Liquid as crit. Takes a ton of damage as well. He will get healed up. Saving him maybe one more hit. Mind control on the backside. No HP, but it doesn't matter. Here come the bugs. Will they put themselves on there? They sure will. Sun Strike. That's a kill and a 4 for 0 plus Roshan. Did he even lose the Aegis? He did not. Man, this is... We talk about how one of the easy ways to lose games is to go try and defend a tower when the enemy team is already set up. Let's just call it objectives because that Roche is already dead. It's Wraith yep. King Ursa. S4. EG. Did S4 just get himself killed here? He did. He double leaped to take off Kuroki's ulti and then just tried. That was a. Well, it was a 5 for 0. Yeah. Dyer's top tower is and under doesn't look like anyone wants to stun. There's going to be a fight. Kuroki is going to stun. Is he going to be able to get Ghost Strike? He gets the bash, but it won't be enough because he does get Ghost Strike. He's going to heal up a little. Oh, but if he stands there, he's going to die, and he sure does. He goes down. Kuroki does die to Arteezy, but now are they going to get crit as well? They sure will. Matumba Man picks it up, and now they're looking for Sumail. Matumba Man, bash after bash. Miracle wants this kill. Will get it. He's godlike, and now it is looking. It's the funnest heroes to watch. Like, you watch Crit the other day completely take over a game on the four position Earth Spirit, like solo killing the cores, and you see in this game GH, it feels like, it feels like this hero in the right hands is quite underrated right now. And S4, he's just caught no man's lane. Top lane. He was pretty far, but yeah, they're going to go in. They're just going to dive the base. Well, I thought he was safe. He's like, I'm in my base. I'm going to do that now. It's only a 4K lead. But it feels so much more the it's, map control by Liquid. When you get to this part of the game, you have these three cores that can just play so aggressively around the map, and both Radiant's supports, like, it's a one plus one. Any core, any support on a hero, that's a kill. This is where Ursa thrives. Mm -hmm. I love the Basher pickup, too. 
Um, you'll you usually see a basher, but not this early. You'll sometimes see a BKB maybe first, but he bashed. He first hit bash Arteezy, and then he first hit bash crit as well in that IO. And well, what are you going to do? You don't want to toss him into your base. The rest of his team could be behind him, and you have an Aegis. Well, they're going to. He's just going to run away. Now Sumail's in a lot of trouble. Reaper Scythe will pick off the Aegis. Can Sumail get out of here? I think Eju considers the win if he does. Oh, Sunstrike, I believe. Lucky enough, overcharge helping out a little bit. Now Matama Man's in a little bit of trouble. They're just attacking from the high ground. Starstorm will Kick go away. Out. They haven't killed him quite yet. GH with the safe. The toss is like, oh. oh, they get it though. Sumail picks him off with the toss. But now look at this. Arkeezy in no man's land as well as Kuroki going down. He still had his ulti. See you later, Arkeezy. Shrine's gonna get popped, so they're all gonna get farmed up. Here comes Miracle. Three man deafening blast. Stun toss combo. Miracle in a little bit of trouble. They have detection now. S4 gets the kill. That's a lot of gold. Ulti from Fly and GH goes down. You just fought into a shrine with an IO on the other team. And if it weren't for that shrine, though, that would have been absolutely insane. GH and Miracle hit four heroes with like eight spells, but as you said, Wisp plus shrine, that is a very difficult engagement. Um, hopefully we get a replay of that. Um, look at the, I'm just looking at damage dude, done on the recap. 20,000 damage by 22 it, minutes in. Though. It's so insanely smooth, though. Like, GH kicks Matamba Man away. It's the only reason he has even a prayer of living. That's he sick. dies to the toss from Sumail. Max range, 0.2 seconds away from getting the blink out. Sumail and mind control. I don't think you can burst him down time, but look who else here. It's going to be flying crit. It won't matter. Matoma Man already oh, no, killed Sumail. Support. And they're in a lot of trouble too. Yeah. Will anyone get out of here? Arteezy's here now. He's going to throw it out. Fun. Look at it. It's going to be GH out of nowhere. Every hero's just showing up. Look at even S4's here now, but he jumps into the bug. Can't get Mike. No, he does because the Maelstrom park. But look at this Arteezy. He's going to go down. The Sun Strike instantly blows him up. And now S4 is going to die to Matumba Man in the low cooldowns of Liquid. Miracle. Getting to play a signature invoker is such a pleasure to watch, and I feel that all these fights, it's just play after play after play. Smoke to top oh on Liquid, gets the haste rune on Ursa, has find them all? the overpower and blink in three seconds. Can they catch him? Gets Sumail, has the ulti if he wants to bump up the damage, which he does, and Sumail goes down full to zero. That's why I love Ursa against these melee core strength heroes that rely on their innate tankiness, because that raw health doesn't matter when his extra attacks just do more damage. Yep, and this is why Tiny, one of the most picked heroes at this event, but one of the lowest win rates. I feel like it's partly due that even though Sumail did do excellently in the mid lane, he's now sixth in net worth, and unfortunately, I just don't see a way for him to come back into the game. You get the blink echo, you can get the shadow blade, but at this point, his damage oh. output does not increase. GH and Miracle, they see something's up. Dust is going to get popped. It's on the necro. Crit didn't get dusted. Will it be enough? He kicks over Matumba, kills Fly in the middle oh lane, but look gosh. at this. What a play by Miracle as well as GH and Kroki. He'll come and steal some of the shine, but another perfect play. From Miracle and GH, those two, quite the duo. Yeah, and it's just a it's a rough game for EG. As soon as they took those those mid game team fights and lost the Roshans, like it's really that fight at Roche. It's most of the time in this meta you're gonna be losing games at Roche Ooh. or at Towers. Ooh. That's the beauty of Ursa, you don't have to commit very hard. Oh near the fight to get happen. Three of them we're gonna see Sumail oh, going on the back God. lines. That's four gets his BKB up, but it's not gonna matter. Miracle is just styling on him right now. That's gonna be three quick kills. Arteez is gonna buy back. Looks like S4 wants to get GH, but you're not even gonna get him. It's just a massacre Dude. by the dire shrine. And just like the dinosaurs, a big ass meteor oh. renders all of evil geniuses extinct. Arteezy buys back, tips to Miracle. At this point, I, I don't know if you can come back from this one. We were talking about how SEC, I mean, SEC, we just got a clinic today. SEC and Miracle just played two yeah. of the best invokers we've seen in a long time. And Quaswex on one of them and Xord on the other. We got a little, the sampler, yeah. And this is why Ursa and, and Invoker synergize so well. Ursa initiates the fight, doesn't even have to deal the damage, just has to force them to react to his initial movement. And, and our Invoker's not an initiator. He's a follow-up and, like, Punish the poor positioning of EG, and that's only going to happen if EG is forced to react to something in the first place. And you saw it, Matumba did no damage there. But his play allowed for Invoker to be set up to do everything that he just did, and it's so beautiful to watch. Oh, they're gonna find one, will they though? Mind Control has ulti, goes back, gets all his life back. It's gonna be GH on the backside, hits a nice one. Miracle as well with the combos. They get the Reaper side that doesn't do anything. Sumail is dead, no buyback. Arteezy with the dieback. S4 just gonna run away, and now Liquid. They're gonna get the game, cause it'll be GG called by EG, and Liquid is looking crispy as all can be right now. My that goodness. 
man, of all the teams, you know, people give a lot of praise to Wings, but I feel like <laughs> Wings was a great Dota team, don't get me wrong, but they, I get, won't. they have the benefit, much like uh, Tupac and Biggie. Yes.